On November 22nd, 1963, in downtown Dallas, Texas, shots rang out and killed President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Joining me today is Dr. Robert McClelland, who is a world-renowned general surgeon who was indeed in Trauma Bay 1 at Parkland Memorial Hospital on that fateful day. Tell us what you were doing on November 22nd. I was in the operating room at Parkland in a um, conference room showing a movie to a group of senior surgery residents. And uh, as I was in the middle of that, I heard a little tap on the conference room door. And so I went and peeked out the door and standing there was Dr. Chuck Crenshaw, one of our senior surgery residents. And he said, Dr. Mack, would you step out here? I need to tell you something. And he said, they've just called the emergency room from the police station downtown and said that they're bringing President Kennedy into the emergency room and they want all the surgery faculty to come down immediately. We got on the elevator there and went down to uh, the emergency room. And sitting in a folding chair outside of trauma room one, I saw Mrs. Kennedy. So I immediately thought to myself, well, this is exactly what they said it was going to be. Right. And was horrified at that thought. And I had to literally force myself to keep walking down toward Mrs. Kennedy and walk past her and pushed the door open and walked into trauma room one and was horrified what I saw there immediately was President Kennedy lying on his back, face up, his bloody head and a shot, light shining down on him. I went to the head of the gurney and leaned over to put that retractor in the upper edge of that incision they were making. And when I got there, I said, my God, I said, have you seen the back of his head? And they said, no, we just walked in here before you did and we hadn't seen anything but this hole in his neck. And I said, well, there's a wound in the back of his head here on the right side that's at least five inches in diameter, a circular wound far in the back of his head. So show us where that was. It was back here. Okay. And I could actually look down within the skull cavity and see that the whole right uh, back half of the right cerebral hemisphere was gone. In fact, Mrs. Kennedy, Dr. Jenkins told me, the anesthesiologist, had come in carrying a portion of brain in her hand and mm -hmm. handed it to Dr. Jenkins when she came in. So the back half of the right side of his skull cavity was empty. And as I stood there, in fact, the right half of his cerebellum slowly fell out of that hole onto the gurney. This has been fascinating, Dr. McClellan. Yes, I think I've learned some things and I've been studying this for a few years as well. And uh, what do you think that we as Americans have learned from these tragic events, uh, you know, that have really marked some changes, you know, from these great leaders that so. have really died for um, so. for all of America. Yeah. What do you think, uh, how do you think that's changed America and what lessons do you think we could learn from that? Well, the thing that I mainly have thought, and this is just my thought about it, is that probably up until that time, uh, the general population had a lot more faith and the people in charge, if you will, whoever that is, <laughs> right. than they have now. Right. That it kind of destroyed the innocence, if you will, uh, of the American public. On behalf of all of Plastic Surgery, and uh, really all of Americans, thank you so much. You've given us a phenomenal rendition of that very, very important day in, in the history of the United States. Thank you, Dr. Lord. Appreciate thank you. it.